Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I am Tangie and I've got another weekly grocery haul for you guys. This week I had a budget of $60. I did go $5 over, my bad. Um, and I was also overcharged 50 cents, which I'm a little annoyed because when you're intentional with your money and you try to stay on budget, every little bit counts. So the 50 cents, yeah, that's like a can of beans or a can of soup, like that's a meal for somebody. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I did go to two different stores, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started with my Dollar General haul. Like I said, I had to get some household items, so let's do those first. Let me get the food items out of the way. As you can see, we got uh, a 12 pack of our Cottonelle toilet paper. A lot of people have certain brand name things that they will buy, that they will spend the extra money on, and for us, it is toilet paper with sensitive bottoms in this house. We have to be careful about what kind of toilet paper that we use. So Cottonelle is what we normally get and it was $6 for a 12 pack. Uh, then over here you can see we've got some Gain fabric softener, yeah. 105 sheet box. It was originally $4.50 and I had a $2 off manufacturer's coupon making that $2.50. So the Gain Fireworks was originally $4.50 and I had a $2 off coupon making it $2.50. Now we like to buy these because we spend about $30 a year on um, laundry detergent. So I feel like I can buy this in good conscience. Their self-rising flour is normally uh, $1.50 for a five pound bag and Aldi is cheaper, but today they had a 50 cent, uh, they had a 50 cent in-store coupon off, making it $1, so I purchased it. And then with the, with their granulated sugar, it's, a nor it's normally $1.75 for a four pound bag, and they had a 75 cent off in-store coupon, making it $1. Now here's where I was gypped the 50 cents, and I didn't notice it until I got home. They had, a, they had a store ad um, showing two cans of Clover Valley Chunk Light Tuna in water for $1 when you buy two. They're normally 75 cents each. That is 19 cents per can cheaper than what I can get at Aldi. However, when I checked my receipt at home, they did not give me the sell price. They charged me regular price for 75 cents each, making it $1.50. So yes, I'm a little annoyed. So that makes my total at Dollar General $15.40. Now for the Aldi haul. Okay, so I got uh, two and a half pounds of bananas at 40 cents per pound. They had three pound bags of sweet potatoes for 99 cents. I love sweet potatoes, so I got a bag. Got our staples, uh, I got our staple of Tortilla chips, two bags at $1.19 each. Milk is 99 cents a gallon right now. I got a bag of the Pure Cane Light Brown Sugar that was 99 cents. I went ahead and grabbed another bag of white sugar just because we're gonna be doing some baking in the coming weeks because of the holidays. Um, I went ahead and once again bought another two boxes of these peanut butter wafers. These are 89 cents per box, so I mean, that's a, that's a really good deal, and you get six um, six packs per box, so um, so I feel good about buying that, and my husband can grab those on his way to work, and you know, they're good for a snack. Uh, three boxes of the macaroni and cheese, and that's 33 cents each. Um, two of them are going to be for eating on this week, and one of them I'm setting aside for my preps. I went ahead and bought two more cans of tuna, I got one loaf of bread because we have a loaf of bread that hasn't been opened yet. We are almost completely out of jelly, so I got another thing of jelly. Got two cans of tomato soup, two cans of vegetable and beef stock. That's my son's favorite and he's feeling under the weather. So I thought I'd get him some of those. I got two cans of chicken noodle. I got two rolls of paper towels at 49 cents each. Some more cheese singles, another tub of sour cream, one pound pack of sandwich meat two dozen eggs, a pound of butter. They had their red seedless grapes on sale for 99 cents a pound, so I got one of those. Two bags of the baby Brussels sprouts. And then last but not least, I got this 
package of boneless skinless chicken breasts. It was $1.89 per pound. This is almost six pounds coming in at $10.96. Okay guys, so that gives me a total at Aldi of $49.32. So like I said, I did go over budget. So one tip that I'm gonna give about these Brussels sprouts, Aldi's had a one pound bag of fresh Brussels sprouts for $1.99 at my Aldi, okay? This is a, one of these bags is 12 ounces, which is just four ounces shy of a pound. And these were $1.45. So by getting two of them, I came out better than buying the fresh. If you're not going to eat the vegetables fresh anyway, you will probably do better buying them frozen than you would fresh. So just keep that in mind. So I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. Join us again when we share with you our life, our love of liberty, and our pursuit of bacon. Bye y'all.